Hi everybody, Bentley Compost Guy Christy here. It's been quite a while since my last video, so I thought it was time to get back at it. I found this bin down in my basement, very, very neglected. This is a bin that I set up in October of 2015. It is now almost October 2017, just the very, very end of September. And yeah, you can see that it is very, very well processed. No surprises there. Um, during that two year period, I have probably only fed it two or three times. I think it would be, well, maybe, maybe three times. I can't literally, literally can't remember the last time I fed it. Now, all the feedings have been very rich in bedding. And this has actually been part of um, my Paley 100 project. Some of you may know what I'm talking about when I say that. Some of you may be familiar with the article, How to Raise, Breed, and Maintain 100 Pounds of Worms in a Single r Room. I think that's what it was called, by Brian Paley. Very well-known article on the old Burrow web website, which is part of the uh, Jet Compost website. And it's a very interesting article, seven-part article, huge, huge article. It's actually a bit of a difficult read. And I actually summarized it in the form of a report and shared that with um, Worm Farming Alliance members just because I thought it was such an interesting article and such an interesting idea. He has this idea that um, based, basically by accident, he discovered that you could breed tons and tons and tons of the teeny tiny worms in relatively small bins and then grow them out to full size worms. So that's why he says 100 pounds of worms in a single room. He doesn't literally have 100 pounds, but he has a 100 pound equivalent or more, um, you know, once he grows them out, they, they go to normal size. So that's kind of what I wanted to test out. I kind of forgot about it, which is not too surprising. It happens a lot with me and my systems. And it's amazing. You know, if there's one takeaway from this video, it's that it is extremely difficult to starve worms if you give them lots and lots of bedding. And that's what I did with this system. So we're just gonna take a little look in here. I honestly can't remember the last time I fed them anything. It may be the better part of a year, literally. So they're probably a little bit hungry, probably a little bit low on nutrition. You can see if you can see, any of the worms that are in here are absolutely tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And that's why I wanted to actually make this a video, just because I wanted you to, to be able to see close up what the worms look like and what the material looks like. Now, interestingly enough, probably because it's been neglected so badly, there aren't any cocoons in here that I can find. I think these worms are finally just exhausted. And maybe, you know what, some of them probably have died by this point. So I'm certainly not suggesting that you would ever leave a bin for two years, basically, or at least the better part of a year since the last feeding. But the key is don't worry about a little bit of neglect. Now what I want to do with this material, this wormy material, is I want to set up two separate projects. Uh, one of them, I'm going to be testing out tea as a sole food for the worms. My wife and I have been drinking quite a bit of tea lately, herbal tea, green tea, this sort of stuff. And it's sort of the first time that I've really been drinking a lot of tea, so I haven't really tested out tea bags all that much. So I thought that would be interesting, I have a system solely using tea bags. And I also just want to take half of this material and start up a regular worm bin. Very curious to see how these worms bounce back, if they bounce back, do they start breeding right away? How fast can I grow them up to a full size or a, even a decent sized worm? Is that possible based on how you know em emaciated they are right now? Okay, so just wanted to let you know about that. That's pretty much it. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Once again, this is Bentley Compost Guy Christie, and we'll certainly be talking again soon.